In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Welcome to our service this morning on this, the third Sunday after Epiphany, uh, the day when our Gospel re reading tells the story of the wedding at Cana and Jesus' first miracle. We will, you, we will hear later from the Reverend Nigel Taylor in his reflection on this passage. But for now, as we start this service, let's start by acknowledging the ways in which we fail to be God's people. The grace of God has dawned upon the world through our Saviour Jesus Christ, who sacrificed himself for us to purify a people as his own. And so let us confess our sins. Lord Jesus, illuminate the darkness in our hearts. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, open our eyes to your saving love. Christ, have mercy. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly believe, Lord Jesus, unstop our ears to hear your living word. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon us, pardon and all our sins, confirm and strengthen us in all goodness, and bring us to life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, the giver of strength and joy, whose Son turned the water into wine at Cana in Galilee, change our bondage into liberty and the poverty of our nature into the riches of your grace that by the transformation of our lives your glory may be revealed through jesus christ our lord amen Jesus was there. Jesus and his disciples had also been invited to the wedding. When the wine gave out, the mother of Jesus said to him, they have no wine. And Jesus said to her, woman, what concern is that to you and me? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servants, do whatever he tells you. Now standing there were six stone jars for the Jewish rites of purification each holding 20 or 30 gallons. Jesus said to them, fill the jars with water, and they filled them up to the brim. He said to them, now draw some out and take it to the chief steward. So they took it. When the steward tasted the water that had become wine and did not know where it came from, though the servants who had drawn the water knew, 
The steward called the bridegroom and said to him, Everyone serves the good wine first, and then the inferior wine after the guests have become drunk. But you have kept the good wine until now. Jesus did this, the first of his signs, in Cana of Galilee, and revealed his glory, and his disciples believed in him. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Today's Gospel is a reminder of what we can't have. Weddings, of course, weddings are not allowed at all in lockdown, not at a church or a register office. And for almost a year, a wedding like this one described in today's Gospel has been impossible. A wedding with many guests, with food and wine flowing, and friends and family gathering. Those days will come again. I am currently planning four weddings this year. And vaccination, of course, will help reduce the risk and make it possible, God willing, for us to gather again in larger numbers. But for now, it's quite hard to hear this story, to hear God's promises of abundance at a time when we ourselves are all running on empty. Our sermon today comes from the Reverend Nigel Taylor, who is part of the senior team in the area, the Edmonton area. Um, and he reminds us today that running out of resources isn't necessarily a bad thing and that sometimes it's when we run out that we realise how much we rely on God. I've emailed out a link to that sermon so that you can click on it and watch it um, yourselves at home after this service. You can also find it later on on our website and on our Facebook page. But for now I leave you with the thought that however low on resources you feel God's abundance is there and we can lean into God and rely on God's generosity. Amen. Amen. So let us pray. This is the week of prayer for Christian unity, the time when we remember that all Christians are part of the body of Christ. And so we pray for the whole Church of God. God our Father, you reveal to us your love through Christ and through our brothers and sisters. Open our hearts so that we can welcome each other with our differences and live in forgiveness. Grant us to live united in one body so that the gift that is each person comes to light. May all of us together be a reflection of the living Christ. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all God's holy and beautiful creation, remembering that God requires of us that we love and cherish it as God does. Thrice holy God, we thank you for having created and loved us. We thank you for your presence in us and in creation. May we learn to look upon the world as you look upon it, with love. In the hope of this vision, may we be able to work for a world where justice and peace flourish. For the glory of your name, Lord, in your mercy. Lord, Lord, in Hear Lord, our prayer. United in Christ, we are united with all of humanity. We pray that we might share one another's joys and respond with compassion to one another's pain and suffering. Lord Jesus Christ, you taught us to love our neighbour and to care for those in need, as if we were caring for you. In this time of anxiety, give us strength to comfort the fearful, to tend the sick, to assure the isolated of our love and your love, for your name's sake. We entrust to your tender care for all those who are ill, or in pain, knowing that whenever danger threatens, your everlasting arms are there to hold them safe. Comfort and heal them, and restore them to health and strength, we pray. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. As the body of Christ, we are united with all Christians on earth and in heaven, as we remember those we have lost, and pray especially for everyone who has lost their life in this pandemic. 
we lift up to you especially all those de departed from this church and this parish, remembering today our dear sister, Pauline Chamberlain. Lord Jesus, our Redeemer, you willingly gave yourself up to death so that all people might be saved and pass from death into new life. In your hands, O oh Lord, we humbly entrust our brothers and sisters. In this life, you embraced them with your tender love. Draw them now into your presence where they may see you face to face. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayers. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. You may have noticed an extra voice in the service today. I am joined today by my daughter, Faye, who is praying with me and who is serving at this Eucharist. Um, just so that you know, she and I live together. We're part of the same household, which is why we won't, we're not wearing face masks or indeed socially distancing. We are the body of Christ. In one spirit, we were all baptised into one body. Let us then pursue all that makes for peace and builds up our common life. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. God, I accept the offering of your church, the hearts of your people, joined in praise and thanksgiving, in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Give thanks to the Lord our God.
source of all holiness, grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. So, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on all your people and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup, so that we, in the company of St. Aldhelm and all the saints, may praise and glorify you forever, through Christ our Lord, by whom, and with whom, and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, almighty Father, for ever and ever. Jesus taught us to call God our Father, and so in confidence we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. The body of Christ. blood of Christ.
Let us pray. Almighty Father, whose Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ, is the light of the world, may your people, illumined by your word and sacraments, shine with the radiance of his glory, that he may be known, worshipped and obeyed to the ends of the earth, for he is alive and reigns now and forever. Thank you for sharing in this service with me today. Don't forget the sermon, uh, which you can watch by, uh, by looking at our Facebook page or our website. Um, but there are, I'm sure, technical ways in which I could have slotted that sermon neatly and seamlessly into this service. Um, but with the, the technology that we have at our disposal, that's rather difficult. So um, I'm relying on you to look at the sermon yourselves. Um, I send out a weekly email to and to anyone who's interested, if you would like to receive that email, which includes details of services as well as um, uh, links to other resources, then do get in touch. You can leave a message on our Facebook page or you can via our website find my email address. And now we come to the end of our service and the blessing of God, which is open to all of us and available to all of us, whether you are here in, present, in my presence like my daughter, or whether you are watching this on a computer or phone. We come before God in thankfulness for all that we are offered through God's mercy and kindness. May God, who in Christ gives us a spring of water welling up to eternal life, perfect in you the image of his glory and the blessing of God Almighty, Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you all.